Hey there everybody, the rich one here. <clears throat> I'm up on the mob spawner, I've been working on it. I'm not going to bore you guys while I sit here working on it, but I just want to show a couple of things. I was up here and I just, I happened to be, I was building over here, I was standing where that water is now. But I mean this, I think it just looks so amazing. I see from up here, I can see so much clay and stuff to go get, so I'll end up getting that. I see pumpkins over there. Another nice desert over there. Then we got the spot where I have my animals there. Nice mountains. It, it's just it's a really nice view in my opinion. And what I want to show you though is I'm going to have to wait till it gets dark to show you because that's the only time it shows. So I'm going to simply take a break here. I'm going to keep working on this till it gets dark and then I'll show you what I wanted to. Alright. So it's night time now as you can all see. Out here it's not much different. What I wanted you guys to see was I mean just look at that. It just you can see the mine way out there, the house, the derrick, the farm, the sleeve, the path that I run along. I mean and then you can see the animal area a bunch. Just like little populated villages of areas. I think, yeah. So, I'm going to go back. I'm going to probably finish this up. And then I have an idea. The mountain over here. I think, seeing as I know in the middle, it just is like a huge hollow. We should build a platform up on the top. Build up above that, have a glass floor so you're looking down. I think that would be kind of interesting to do. So that's a project I'm going to start building up to after I get the mob spawner here going because this mob spawner will spawn all of the different mobs except for Endermen because they just teleport out. So this will spawn spiders, creepers, zombies, and skeletons instead of just having that skeleton one that I have down below ground. The only difference between this one and that one with the skeleton part is this one just gives the items you don't have to kill them, they fall to their death to start with. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so the last part that I have left to do here is Get rid of the infinite water, smash up a couple of blocks flat, flows, remove the water stream I have to get up here, the pillar that I made to get up here at the first start, and go make a ton of torches to light up the roof, so that way nothing spawns on top. Something that I found once before that is interesting is right there. I'm going to take you guys down there to show you what's there, since I've explored it a little before. Just I don't remember what was there. It's been so long. The playing so much Feed the Beast. Huh, oh, ten points. I win. Alrighty. Da, 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 da. And this was formed this way. I didn't do it. I haven't been down. Well, I've been down here once. Because I lit it up some. So I saw some iron there to come grab. Actually, I think I might have ran past here once when I was on a caving expedition. Because I have so many torches down here. So, that's this. I just thought I needed to show it. Up, up, up. Seeing as I need to get some more iron. And that again. Yeah, because I blocked it off because it was free flowing all the way down. I just didn't really pay attention as I came through here. I just ran as fast as I could. <laughs> so, that's this. I gotta start playing on this normal map some more than, <laughs> than Feed the Beast. Most of my free time I've just been spending on Feed the Beast. Trying to get materials, get some more stuff built so that way I can put out more videos that are with that. But I think I need to come back here too. It's just, I need to balance it out a little. I just, I like Feed the Beast so much I don't normally play with much mod packs. Because I normally couldn't get them to install right. The only one I could ever get to install right, inside of Optify, was 
too many items, which really was get you. I got really dependent on that, so that's why I quit using it. Cause it made me be cheating too much and just depended on it. whenever I went on a server. It's like, oh, how do I do anything? Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> So, and if you guys know any servers for Feed the Beast or any Minecraft servers, even if they're a private server, like your own and you be fine with, like, have me join or something, just let me know. I can always try. And so then you just PM me the information. So I think that's going to be probably it because that's just some more ideas and I've been working on the spawner. I'll have that finished next time. And I got uh, put in a path actually from the bridge to the spawn items. So I appreciate you all for watching even though this series is kind of off to a lame and boring start. <laughs> It'll get more interesting as it goes on and I get more supplies built. We're going to look into maybe a sand generator. I got my cobblestone derrick which is a cobblestone generator. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.